WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, company live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Friday morning. We're 30 minutes into the trading day, and you've got markets drifting higher. S&P's up 38 points. That's almost one full percent. The positive, NASDAQ leading the way. You're up 1.5 percent right now, 12,506. You get the Dow up 7 tenths percent, pushing 32,000. You got the Russell right now up 27 points. That's almost 1.5 percent in the green at 1872. Jumping back to the S&P, quite an acceleration from the highs of August 16th. We accelerate to a low made this week, 3886 about, whether it was uh, where we were finishing out Tuesday action into the acceleration that began on Wednesday. Right now, we're coming right into a potential 382. Our man Larry Pezzavento, folks, is filling in next from 10 till 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, jumping around to some of the commodities. Crude, up 258 right now. You see that crude contract. Interesting in terms of you're talking about going back to where we were, folks, almost a year ago. The high from October of 2021, about 85 bucks. We just dipped below that level. We are back now above that price level at 86.10 in crude. And you jump to natural gas. There's some volatility for you as well, sitting about eight right on the spot. Gold's right now up four dollars at seventeen twenty-four. We got some action in currencies. We got some action in yields. The ten-year, you're positive by three ticks. But check out that chart on a daily basis. Just this year, you're talking about lower lows lower highs down from where we were august 2nd you were talking about 122 in the 10 year we're sitting at 11601 right now for price on that 10 year and you jump over to the vix as the markets rise the vix back to 2287 well off where we were almost pushing 28 just a few days ago on september 6th on that volatility volatility index we jump over to the dollar index right now dxy now there it is on a fibonacci basis folks i talked about it during my show last hour i mean you're gonna have lower moves here but boy the trend is higher price higher highs higher lows right now you're backing off a bit but even if you pull back to 104.50 folks all that is is a 382 of the move you've been in over the last six or seven months not sure we're gonna get even there you jump over to the euro us dollar i talked about this as well maybe bumping into the upper boundary there sitting just above parity in the pound potentially sitting at the lower boundary of its channel line. A little bit of divergence there between the pound and the euro. Uh, but guess what, folks? Markets trading higher. S&P's at 4,050. We got CPI next week. We got the Fed the week after that. Should be an interesting Friday, folks. Stay tuned. Larry's up next. <laughs>